In this video, I'll talk about factoring trinomials where the coefficient with the x squared is not equal to 1, and the method I'll use is decomposition. Let's review expanding and simplifying. We apply the distributive property, which in short we call FOIL, first times outside, and then inside times last. Collect like terms, and we're left with a trinomial. The important thing is if we start with a binomial times a binomial, when we expand and simplify, we end up with a trinomial. Now can we go the other way? Can we find the factors of a trinomial? The coefficient with the first term, with the square number, is not equal to 1. These questions are very similar to factoring simple trinomials, but a little bit different. Looking at the last term here, we have a positive. Now inside the brackets, we could either have a positive positive or a negative negative. Here the middle term is positive, so in the brackets we need to collect like terms to get a positive. Therefore the two signs need to be plus. Here we have a minus, so we know the signs inside the brackets will be plus, minus. The last term is negative. We know the signs need to be minus, plus. Last term is positive, and we know that the signs need to be two negatives. Two negatives multiply to give the positive, but combine to give a negative. Let's factor. We need to find two numbers that multiply to give a 6 and combine to give the middle term, which is a 7. The two numbers would be 6, 1. So now it's a little bit different from factoring a simple trinomial in that what we're going to do is split up this 7x into a 6x plus a 1x. Now recall back to factoring by grouping and look what's common between these two groups. A 3x is common, so we have x plus 2. And here a plus 1 is common, and we're left with x plus 2. Now we have a common x plus 2 and a 3x plus 1 remaining. This is the factored form of the original trinomial. Shall we do a check? 3x squared plus 1x plus 6x gives us the 7x plus a 2. So we're right. Here we need to find two numbers that multiply to give a negative 5 and combine to give a 4. 5 comma 1, where the 5 is a plus and the 1 is a negative. 5a minus 1a, rewriting the middle term. And factor by grouping. We take out a 5a and we're left with a plus 1. Take out a negative 1, we're left with a plus 1 common factor of a plus 1 and 5a minus 1. Performing a check, 5a squared minus a plus 5a gives us the 4a and minus 1. So we're right. Two numbers that multiply to negative 60 and combine to a negative 11. I'm thinking 230, no, 320, no, 4, 415, where the 15 is a negative and the 4 is positive. Rewrite the middle term. And factor by grouping, take out a common 5y 
and we're left with 2y minus 3. Take out a common 2, and we're left with 2y minus 3. Common factor of a 2y minus 3, and we're left with 5y plus 2. Quick check, 10y squared plus 4y minus 15y gives us minus 11y and a minus 6. Two numbers that multiply to a 24 and combine to give a negative 14. And the numbers are 12, 2, if both are negative. Rewriting the negative 14x. Factor by grouping. Take out a 4x. We're left with 2x minus 3. And take out a negative 1. We're left with 2x minus 3. A common 2x minus 3. And a 4x minus 1 remaining. Quick check. 8x squared minus 2x minus 12x gives us the minus 14x and a plus 3. So we're right. Two more. We need to find two numbers that multiply to a negative 40 and combine to a negative 18. 5, 8, no, 2, 20. 2, 20. If the 20 is negative and the 2 is positive, negative 20x plus 2x. Factor by grouping, a common 4x, we're left with 2x minus 5, and a common plus 1, we're left with 2x minus 5. Common factor, 2x minus 5, and we're left with 4x plus 1. Quick check, 8x squared plus 2x minus 20x gives us minus 18x and a minus 5. One last thing to remind you of is to always check for a greatest common factor. I know I haven't had any questions like that, but that is the number one thing to do. And of course in this one, we do not want to multiply 24 times 24. And so thank goodness we can take a common factor of 4 out. So we have 6y squared minus 5y minus 6. That's a much nicer question to factor. So I'm thinking 9, 4, where the 9 is a negative and the 4 is a positive. Now we do need to keep that 4. We'll rewrite the negative 5y to be negative 9y plus 4y, and factor by grouping. We have a common 3y with a 2y minus 3, a common 2 with a 2y minus 3. We have a 4, and we'll take out a common factor of 2y minus 3, and have a 3y plus 2 remaining. Let's check. 6y squared plus 4y minus 9y gives us minus 5y minus 6 with a 4 in front. And then if we distribute that 4, we get the original trinomial. 